Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science and the reason for the seasons. I live in the southern portion of the United States but still live far enough above the equator to experience seasons. I enjoy summer but just when I'm beginning to get really tired of hot weather, fall comes along and then fall leads to winter and I enjoy cold weather but when I begin to get tired of that, spring comes along and then next thing you know it's back to summer. But what causes these seasons? The seasons are caused by the tilt of the Earth. The Earth is tilted at 23.44 degrees. As the Earth revolves around the Sun, the hemisphere pointed towards the Sun experiences summer, and winter occurs in the hemisphere tilted away from the Sun. During the spring and fall, the tilt of the Earth is somewhere between the summer and the winter. The hemisphere that is tilted towards the sun is warmer because the sunlight travels more directly to the Earth's surface, so it gets less scattered in the atmosphere, and in the winter, the sunlight is more indirect. But let's see what this actually looks like. I took a flashlight and some cardboard and tilted the cardboard at the same angle as the Earth is tilted in the summer. Here's what this looks like. I then traced the light and did the same thing when it is winter. And here's what this looks like. As you can see, the sunlight is more concentrated in the summer compared to the winter. Remember, the more concentrated the light, the warmer the temperature. And the more indirect the light is, like in winter, the cooler the temperatures. Also, the hemisphere that is tilted closest to the sun has longer and brighter days, and the hemisphere tilted away from the sun has shorter days. At the equator there are no seasons because each day the sun strikes at about the same angle. Every day of the year the equator receives about 12 hours of sunlight. So there's a reason for seasons. If you'd like to know more about seasons and the Earth's revolution or revolving around the sun, this playlist will help. And as always, thanks for watching and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math or science video every day. Please subscribe and share.